Vasco da Gama was a super important explorer from Portugal, kind of like a superhero of the seas. He was born around 1460 in a place called Sainz, Portugal, right by the ocean. Because his family was pretty fancy like the VIPs back then, grew up in a big house and learned about ships and the sea from a young age. In 1497, when Vasco was about 37, the king of Portugal, Manuel I, gave him a really cool but tough mission. He asked Vasco to find a way to India by sailing around Africa. Why? Because Europe was crazy about spices, silk, and all sorts of treasures from Asia, but getting there was super hard. The land routes were blocked by people who didn't want to share. So, Vasco got a brave crew and four ships and set off into the unknown. Imagine being on a ship with no GPS, just the stars to guide you. They sailed around the scary Cape of Good Hope at the bottom of Africa. This part was named Good Hope because it gave them hope that they could actually reach India and guess what? They did. After lots of months at sea, facing huge storms, getting a bit lost, and almost running out of food, Vasco and his crew finally made it to Calicut in India in 1498. It was a huge deal because they were the first Europeans to get there by sea. They found all the amazing spices and silk they were looking for and even made some friends. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Some folks in India weren't too happy to see them and didn't want to trade. Vasco had to be super smart and brave, not just in battling the sea, but also in dealing with these tricky situations. Besides finding the sea route, Vasco's trips were like opening a treasure map of the world. He helped draw better maps that showed the coast of Africa and the way to India. This made it easier for ships to travel and for people to know more about our planet. Vasco's voyages also led to the Portuguese setting up shop in different places along the way, like in Africa and India. These spots were like the first mini malls for trading spices, silk and other cool stuff between Europe and Asia. And guess what? Vasco's adventures even helped people from different parts of the world learn about each other. They shared knowledge, stories, and even food recipes. It was like he started the first ever international friend group. Vasco became a big hero in Portugal and got a fancy title, Admiral of the Indian Seas, and a big house where he could watch the sea. He had a bunch of kids and told them all about his adventures. Even though he passed away far from home in 1524, people still remember him as the sailor who connected different parts of the world. Today, Vasco da Gama is like a star from the past. His story teaches us to be curious, brave, and ready to explore, showing us that the world is full of mysteries waiting for us to discover. And maybe, just maybe, we can be explorers in our own way, finding new things and making friends from faraway places.